To show you some extremes of how expansion can work, let's open our freezer in here and see what, uh, what we have. We have a crown race. Uh, crown race here, we're sitting at uh, approximately 38 degrees. So let's bring this thing out and let's go, uh, let's go heat it up. With the uh, crown rays being rather cold, let's go ahead and get us a, an inside diameter here. We are at 3977, but most importantly, let's lock that down, 397. 397 is what we're reading. That's a nice snug fit. Let's take that off and let's heat it up. Let's go ahead and see what we get here. It fits in the caliper easily and it actually jiggles some. So in fact we have expanded 39.8. We've gone up about a tenth of a millimeter uh, in our diameter and that's, that's plenty of, of difference to, to make the press fit easier or difficult. Uh, you don't need to stick anything in a refrigerator to see that differences. Uh, even at ambient temperature, room temperature, heated up again to the 150, 180 range um, is going to be enough to make a difference in a, in a press fit. Here is an example of where we may want to apply some heat. Uh, this is a uh, fork crown race. If we think or suspect that this is uh, pressed on very, very tightly, uh, this is an area that we may want to, uh, to heat to, uh, to allow some expansion of our race to make it easier to pull. So we have our, uh, our, crown, race, our crown race puller here, the CRP2, but uh, we're going to also apply a little bit of, of heat uh, to this race. Quite warm. Let's place it in. Bring the blades up. Tighten, tighten below. And easily removed. For crown races, all sides this crown race, other things that you may want to apply some mild heat to. Uh, is a pressed on crank such as the uh, power torque spline fit, uh, heating the aluminum arm, uh, causing some expansion, making that easier to pull.